Hey guys, it's David here for Funko Friday on the Toyzilla Shopping Network. And you're probably wondering, Funko is a big topic. What? How are we going to cover Funko? Well, we only have a half hour, so we decided we're going to focus on Funko signed pops today. So that's like Funko pops that have been autographed uh, that we have for sale here in the store. Uh, but as you can see, I'm just going to give you a quick tour. We... We have a lot of pops. I mean, almost every area of the store has Funko Pops. Uh, they've kind of taken over. I'm going to walk backwards here, try not to run into anything. But if you look at the very back of our store, yep, the entire wall is covered in Funko Pops. Nothing but Funko. Nothing but Funko. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, and then over here, we have like our... Our horror pops over here. We've got uh, just like Jurassic Park pops uh, over there. We've got pop rocks like Kiss. Uh, Marvel is like over here. Ooh, kind of dark today, uh, but yeah, we've got Marvel. Uh, we start over there with DC. Uh, we got video games pops way over there on the other side of the store. Uh, so we've got you covered with with Funko. Uh, <laughs> I don't even, and this is like television pops over here, and then it starts over here, and it's uh, it's Disney. So so we've got a lot a lot of pops. Um, okay, but what are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about signed pops today. Um, and let's just start with our most valuable, most expensive item we have in the store: five hundred dollars. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> no. Not hand sanitizer, sorry, that that was a joke. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Alright, well let me let me flip this around. We're gonna start looking at some stuff because we have way too much stuff to show you today. And uh, it's just insane. But what we're gonna start with are pops that you can only get autographed at Toyzilla. And which I think are really special because we started this store two years ago um, and we started doing pop signings. And we really had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> I shouldn't admit that. Hey, Sylvia. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey, uh, so our very, very first autographed pop that we got uh, was this Clayton Carmine uh, that, that Michael, the voice actor here, signed. And there'll be a lot of reflection on today's episode. I'm sorry. You'll, you'll see my hand. Uh, I'm trying to focus on the autograph. Come on. There we go. Okay. So Michael, this incredibly talented actor, a very great human being. He came and signed our very first pop in the store, um, and we only have one of it left. So we kind of quickly realized uh, that autographed pops are like a really big deal. Um, it used to be, for example, you would get something like this, Mr. Greg Eagles, <laughs> a really good friend. Uh, we worked together a long time, and, and this is something that, uh, you know, yeah, we'd get uh, a glossy sign, you know, have his characters on there, maybe have his face, and he'd sign it there, you know, on the bottom. Uh, but that that is no longer the case. The glossy has been replaced by this weirdly shaped uh, figure in a box called a pop, and and people like to get these signed like crazy, so... Okay, you can't tell it's signed. <laughs> so, anyway, but it's a strange phenomenon. But and I just want to talk briefly before we dive in um, about what is the value of an autograph, and it's it's really a weird thing to actually put a price tag on it. Uh, for me, the value kind of comes in two parts. One is the experience of actually meeting the person giving the autograph, um, and now for a lot of people. Um, you know, some people have no interest in getting the autograph unless they actually meet the person signing it. And I don't blame them because, I mean, the truth is getting the autograph from anyone other than the person signing it is kind of like a secondhand experience. You know, why would you want to buy this thing from me if you didn't get to meet this guy down here, Mr. Eagles? Um, <laughs> so really, um, but many times let's just say that's impossible. Now, yeah, it's impossible now because, you know, we're all locked inside our homes. Uh, but even back when they had conventions, yeah, there used to be something called WonderCon. There used to be something called uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Hopefully that still happens. Uh, 
but you could actually go to a place and get a celebrity to sign your autograph. Um, and, and you know what? We're going to make sure that happens again. Uh, Toyzilla is going to have uh, sort of face-to-face -face autographs once again. Uh, it's going to be in our store, uh, but it's going to be a very, very safe, controlled environment. So you can actually get these awesome pops signed. You can get them sketched on. Uh, you can get them drooled on, maybe, <laughs> by by the celebrity uh, without without the dangers of the face-to-face. -face. And I'll I'll save that for our next Funko Friday because I don't want to jump the gun on that. Um, I don't want to, you know, tell, give away too many details. But, but anyway, getting back to the autograph. Now, if you didn't, how, how do you know, like, getting an autograph is legit? Like, hey, I, so I, what I was saying is, now, if you didn't get an autograph like one of these yourself, you know, I mean, how do you know it's legit? Let's just... Since we're going to be short in time, I'll show you some of the autographs we have here. And we have a ton. This is not even all of our autographs. I mean, we've got everyone from Elvira to Pee Wee Herman, you know, Darkwing Duck over here, all signed. Now, how do you know these are legit? That's like the big burning question. At least that was my fear of buying an autograph without actually meeting the person face to face. You know, Jake the Snake here. I mean, every pop here, I actually did... Well, okay, not every pop. The majority of the pops here, I met the person face-to-face. -face. I can tell you without any shadow of a doubt, with all certainty, that that is the autograph uh, from the person of the celebrity that uh, it is. You know, it's not some guy forging an autograph. Because that's, that's, really, that's like the big fear. We don't want that. <laughs> um, so now, how do you know? It's, it's kind of like, um, unless you got the autograph yourself, there's no way really to, to verify that because um, you're not getting the experience of meeting the person. You're not seeing them right on the pop with their Sharpie or with their paint pen, uh, you know, exactly. So you're kind of like left in the lurch. Now, there are ways to get pretty sure, uh, and it's kind of like doing good reporting. It's, it's, remember, they would say like ask the W questions. Who signed it? When did they sign it? Where did they sign it? Maybe even why did they sign it? Okay, so to do, answer those questions, uh, there's such thing as a COA. That's a Certificate of Authenticity. And all good uh, signed pops should have one of those included. Um, and so I'll, I'll just use ours as an example, since we are Toyzilla, and <laughs> this is a Toyzilla show. Um, so we got... Uh, just recently, we did a signing with a very, very talented uh, uh, Jack DeSena here, who was a voice actor uh, for Sokka from Avatar. Uh, he was also the voice of Callum from The Dragon Prince. Um, now, in the past, when we did a signing, we, you know, we take a photo of the person signing. I mean, that was good enough. Uh, no longer the case. Now, the pops have to have two things uh so you're gonna see there's a little sticker here in the corner god that reflection is really bad okay well here look at this one <laughs> okay so th there's a little toyzilla certified signed edition sticker that's good. usually the lower bottom right corner of the window and that says if it focuses, okay, there we go. It says Toyzilla Certified Signed Edition. Now, if it doesn't have that sticker, it doesn't mean it's it's a knockoff. If it was signed, uh, what, what that sticker means, first of all, is it was actually signed at Toyzilla. <laughs> that means that I was actually there watching it get signed. It was signed under, you know, under this roof. Not this roof, but probably our old store. Uh, or the new store, uh, but it was signed at the store. Um, and so I can verify that, and then on, what's attached with that is a COA. So let's look at a COA here. I'm going to use uh, this one as example. Oops, still sealed. 
Let's use this one as an example. Okay. So in the back of the box, uh, there is a COA. And it, okay, there we go. I got it out. Okay. And this says it was signed by Jack. Uh, it answers the questions you need, which is basically who signed it? Jack DeSena. He signed it. Uh, it was signed, uh, you know, where? Or when? I'm sorry, February 29th. Okay. And then where was it signed? It was signed at Toyzilla, 247 East Main Street, Alhambra, California. Okay. And then it describes what the sticker should look like that's on there. And then it's signed by me. <laughs> because that actually is uh, me putting my reputation, uh, everything on the line, saying that this pop it was actually signed by Jack. Uh, we have photos to prove it. I saw him sign it. Um, you know, you can have complete faith that that is his signature on it. Okay. And so let's go over just very quickly what pops should have that exact sticker on it. Uh, and this is for the record. So if anyone's wondering, you can go back and watch this video and say, okay, these are the only pops in existence that should have the sticker on it. Now, is it easy to peel off that sticker and put it on another item no it's actually really really hard and it will look like garbage if you're able to get that peel that sticker off um and yeah i could probably prove that to you in a minute so uh but a little bit later maybe i'll prove it but let, let's not waste time on that I, I can actually prove that i can try to peel it off and try to put it back on something else it will not look the same uh, so if you see a sticker that looks like it's been chewed on a little on the corners and it's been reapplied, you know that's no good. Okay, so what pops were signed at Toyzilla? Now, I, yeah, I'm focusing on this one. Uh, it's one of a kind, so you're, I mean, you can buy it, <laughs> but there's only one. Uh, this is, we'll just start with this guy. Uh, this is actually a custom pop um, of our Toyzilla mascot, and it was created... It, very rough box, very rough box. It doesn't look super professional, but the, the figure inside looks really great. Let me give a shout out to the creator here, uh, Chili's Blues, who made this custom pop. Uh, give her a shout out. If you need custom pops made, uh, she's the one to do it for you. Okay, so that's our, our very first completely uh toyzilla certified sign pop is our mascot moving on but very rare because there's only one uh next we have uh the well i'll go back and say we have the uh gears of war clayton carmine pop now see uh this this is a the first time we used the whole sticker thing was actually for the signing of uh the dragon prince and the avatar pop with jack so those are actually the very first pops that actually got the sticker on it. Retroactively, uh, we did get uh, this Clayton Carmine pop uh, gets a sticker, and it gets on the side of the window. So not on the front of the window, side of the window. But if you see on the side of the window, hey, it still counts. Um, and that one's signed, and it's... Uh, well, you know what? Forget the whole numbering system tonight, because I just didn't have time, so... Uh, this is the Clayton Carmine uh, Toyzilla Certified Pop. It's $75. There's only one. <laughs> yeah, trust me, there's only one. Uh, we only got one, and he only signed one. So there you go. After that signing, we did a uh, signing with, like I said, Greg Eagles, very talented voice actor. He did uh, this Aku Aku Crash Bandicoot Pop. Uh, he signed that, and so that got the sticker. And we've got four of those. And, man, yeah, it's weird to put a price on, on signed pops. Um, but I'll go ahead and say that pop is um, $75. So there you go. Okay, and then the next official pop signing we did was for Star versus the Force of Evil. I should have really taken these out of their protective cases because the reflection is bad. Uh, so that one got the sticker. 
and got the COA on the back. And you can see who signed it. It was uh, Darian, the creator of Star, and uh, Adam, the voice actor of Marco Diaz. So that's their next official uh, Toyzilla signed pop. Uh, after that, we did a signing. This was the pop swap signing with Brad, who is the voice of of Charlie Brown, and uh, so we got the sticker on the side there, and uh, yeah, I'll just say this pop, doesn't have a price on it, is, uh, it's a s exclusive, signed by him, uh, That this pop is $95, and then we did a signing the same day with guess who, yes, Yes, Kool-Aid Man. Kool-Aid Man himself, Brock Powell. Okay. Yes, and believe it or not, we only have one of these pops from the signing. <laughs> so, this pop, uh, I guess, say, yeah, it's also $95. Oh, there we go. No no glare, thank God. And it's, oh, yeah, <laughs> Brock Powell, Kool-Aid Man. And it's got the sticker on the side there. So let's just say you already went to a signing at Toyzilla. You did not get the sticker on your pop and did not get the, uh, the COA. Uh, guess what? You can come back and show me um, you know, your receipt. You can get the sticker. You can get the COA. We're going to do it for all future signings now. They're all going to have the COA. They're all going to have the sticker. <laughs> okay. And then the last but not least... Uh, official Toyzilla signed uh, pops are these three Rick and Morty pops. And these were signed by Brian Newton, who is the director for Rick and Morty. And not only did he sign them here with his, his signature, yep, uh, but he actually did a sketch on them. So, can you see that? There we go. <laughs> It's all Rick uh, kind of passed out uh, on the Noob Noob box. And then we got uh, Summer here. I'm not sure what she's doing, but um, <laughs> there you go. She has the sticker because it was signed on the premises of Toyzilla. Uh, and then there's Beth with her box of wine. Um, so three Rick and Morty pops. I uh, don't know what we're selling them for. But they are one of a kind, and you can just make an offer on those if you want them. Uh, and then I think I already mentioned we do have still about 10 of these. Uh, now, there's two different Sokka Pops. Uh, there's the one where he says, Boomerang, you do always come back. And then there's another Sokka Pop where... He just says Water Tribe. So you can pick your choice. Uh, they're both completely certified. Got the COA on the back. This one too. Too legit to quit. Okay, so moving on. That, that was just covering pops that were signed here at the store. Now what we're going to be doing, now we have other pops that are signed. These ones are legit too. They just were not signed at the store, so they don't get that sticker, but they will all come with a COA if you buy them. And I'm going to start with my good friend Phil Ortiz here, who not only signed his pop, he, he worked on Simpsons as a, as a really talented artist for many, many years. Uh, and so he not only signed the pop, but he drew a sketch on it. And his favorite character to draw, guess who that is, Sideshow Bob. <laughs> so so there you go. He sketched and signed on it. And get that pop for just $85. Okay, let's move on. We got Jake the Snake. Okay, now I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about these as well. Uh, these, for the most part, were signed at conventions. Uh, there are photographs of these people signing them. Um, in Pretty much every case here, I was the one who actually got the pop signed. Um, so, completely authentic. All right, 
uh, Jake the Snake signed this pop, and he used, of course, green. <laughs> I think what's better is these. it's harder to sign sometimes, and it's harder to maintain, but if you can get your pop signed with a paint pen, better than a Sharpie. You can see how that stands out, and this one doesn't stand out quite as well. Still not bad, but pretty good. Okay, so Jake the Snake, you can get that pop for $80. Uh, the next pop we got is also a custom by the same talented uh, lady, I think. Yeah, there you go. She put her info on the back. And this is Angus Oblong. Now, Angus, uh, he created the Oblongs. That was um, a really, really funny uh, animated sitcom. And uh, he's a very talented artist. And that's, I believe, one of maybe three custom pops that she made of Angus. So... Uh, you can get that one for $80. It's signed by him. Uh, moving on, if you guys like Stranger Things, <laughs> this is definitely one for you. Uh, Noah Schnapp, who plays Will on Stranger Things, signed this pop. Uh, and it is $70. Okay, now here, this one, I was going to mention, there's a difference between, say, a signed pop and an inscribed pop. Inscribe Pop has um, text on there. Usually it's a quote from the show, as in this case. Uh, so <laughs> this is a very long uh, quote, so it, it covers a lot of the window. Uh, now this is signed and inscribed by Terry McGovern, who is the Launchpad McQuack. Um, he says, if it flies, I can crash it. Launchpad McQuack. Um, so that one, I hate to say it's expensive because, uh, guess what? He charged a lot of money. Uh, that's something I was going to mention. You, sometimes you can get pops signed for free. Sometimes you have to pay for them. Conventions, typically people charge. Now, how much do they charge? It depends. Person to person, celebrity to celebrity. Um, and how often they sign at conventions also determines determines what the value of that signature is worth. Now, for example, um, I'd say uh, some of these people don't sign very often. Um, I think, you know, well, I'll try and give an example. I've never actually seen um, <laughs> Noah sign at a convention, so maybe his autograph's worth a little bit more. Uh, as opposed to, let me see, who signs a lot? I can't think of anyone at the moment. Okay, but you know what I'm saying? If they sign a lot of autographs, um, their autograph, you know, is not as scarce, so it might be worth less money. Uh, also, the way the pop is signed, as in this case, it's a very, very unique uh, inscription that probably not a lot of people have. Whereas, you know, this one here, you know, I'm sure he signs that way on all the pops. You can look on eBay, maybe. He always signs uh, his name and then signs Will. Now, if he wrote a cool line from the show, we can say that pop would be worth, you know, maybe over 100 bucks. But because it's just signed with his name, you know, not as unique. But anyway, still very cool. All right, so moving on. Now we have the creator of Darkwing Duck. Uh, Tad signed this pop, and he said, stay dangerous. And so that brings us to another point. Who should sign a pop? You know, should it be the creator? Should it be the voice actor? You know, it could be anybody that's associated with uh, with the pop, you know, with, with the intellectual property that is behind the pop. Uh, in this case, okay, I didn't say the price on this guy, I guess. What is he? Probably $50? Yeah. Okay. Uh, in this case, Elvira is the best one and probably the only one to really sign an Elvira pop. And she signed it right there with the two X's. <laughs> so Elvira signed that one, $145. Okay, moving on. People don't really know what this is, but this is Monster Hunter, which is a video game. Um, and this one's kind of cool because it's signed twice and it has a sketch. It's signed by the uh, development team at Capcom who created Monster Hunter. And this was signed over E3. 
Uh, anyone from Japan signing a pop is worth a lot because you know what? To get over here from Japan, it's a big ordeal. Okay, <laughs> especially now. <laughs> All right, so Pee Wee Herman, we got two Pee Wee Herman pops, and they're both pretty unique. Um, they're both signed uh, by Paul Rubens, uh, who is Pee Wee. Uh, this one is signed in a paint marker. Now, this one's cheap. This one's only $50, which is actually less than what I paid for the autograph. And you're wondering, why? Why is that? Because guess what? The pop's actually not signed. <laughs> He actually signed the Pop Protector box. So, better or worse, okay, your Pop is still mint in there. You can put any Pop you want in that box. Uh, but the Pop itself is actually not signed. It's What's signed is the original autograph, but it is the Pop Protector box. Okay, there you go. Now, this one, he actually did sign the actual window of the box with a Sharpie. Um, Paul Rubens inscribed it. They both say the same thing. I know you are, but what am I? Your pal, Pee Wee Herman. And then this one also he signed uh, Paul Rubens uh, below as well. So this pop is 150. That one is just 50. Oh, cool. Here we have MacGyver. <laughs> this one, I, I was shocked that this wasn't worth more money. But, I, you know, we looked them up and, you know, some of them are worth more, some of them less. Um, so Richard Dean signed, uh, Richard Dean Anderson signed this one. It's a Target exclusive MacGyver Pop, number 707, $85. And this one, I feel like maybe it's not mint condition. Yeah, it's got like a little thing on the top of it. Now, we're going to have to go fast, guys. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to detail the box condition on all of these. Uh, suffice it to say, these are all... Mint or near mint, and if they're not, I'm going to point it out to you. So, okay. Next one. Okay, and that one was $85. The next one is James Earl Jones, uh, who signed that one, and it's 95 You can see it in red Sharpie right there. Now, I never saw him uh, at any convention doing a signing. So this one actually came from an autograph line. Uh, again, we're going back to the autograph hounds who wait outside movie premieres and they jump on celebrities and they're like, dude, you gotta sign this for me. Um, <laughs> I tried it a little bit myself being an autograph hound. I was not good at it. So, um, I would probably never be able to get this autograph. This one came from a very trusted source. So I did not get this autograph myself, nor did I get, um, this one. These both came from trusted sources of people that I know basically do go to the lines, get the autographs, and then bring them back. So it's as close to me getting it as, you know, you can, but it's not me getting it. So, you know, I'm just letting you know. Okay, now this one is pretty cool. If you guys are anime fans and like My Hero Academia, uh, these are pr two pretty unique, uniquely signed pops. Uh, first one is signed by Kristen McGuire, who is the U.S. voice actress who is Nakagami. Uh, now, there is no Nakagami pop. Okay, so look what she did. She sketched her character on a Deku pop and then signed it. And she signed it a lot. She signed it on the side there. She signed it on the window. Um, okay, she signed it a little bit right there. You know, it's... Thoroughly signed. It's a very impressive looking pop. So that one's $150. Then we got a more simply signed one here by uh, the voice actor who plays um, Eraserhead or Shada. Um, that one's $75. Oh, okay. This is not. This is one I really don't want to sell. Oh man. Okay. There's gonna be a couple I really don't want to sell, but. Ugh. You know, it's tough times here. So uh, here is Stan the Man Lee signing his own pop. Um, this is from Captain America, the Winter Soldier, where he plays. He has a cameo as a, you know, as a security guard here. Um, and yeah, he, he signed it in white uh, painter marker right there above his head, Stan Lee. Uh, that one's $300. If you don't buy it, that's fine, because <laughs> I'll keep it. 
Okay, here's Ashley Eckstein. Am I saying her name? Ashley. Ashley. Just call her Ashley. Uh, now, she signed a lot of these Ash Soka pops. Uh, now, her signature on these pops was well over $100 when she first started signing them. But she signed too many. So guess what? Now it dropped down to $75. Pretty good deal, though. So still a really popular pop. <laughs> popular pop. Okay. Before I run out of breath, let's jump down here to some really very cool pops on the next row. Uh, th okay, this is another one. This one I got signed myself. Not signed by anyone that normally goes to conventions and signs pops. So it's probably the only time he ever signed a pop. Uh, this is the director of a movie <clears throat> that did not do well. <laughs> I'll just say it. There's a movie that came out called Dark Phoenix. Uh, it did not do well. I mean, it, it, look, it was a dark film. It was Dark Phoenix. It was hard to compete with the Marvel uh, <laughs> films that were coming out um, for Avengers. The film did not do well. He didn't even know how to sign the pop, really. He, he started over there on her face, and then he finished, signed again on the window. Uh, but no one's going to have this pop signed. So $85. Okay, then we got four really, really nice pops. Uh, these are all the voice actors from Overwatch signing their own pops. Um, some of these autographs are very rare and very hard to get. Um, well, at this point, any autograph is hard to get. I mean, we live in a world of... Uh, a pandemic, so no one's signing pops right now. That's probably safe to say. Um, okay, so these pops... Ah, man, I don't know the price on them. Okay, my bad. Make me an offer, I guess. Okay. Uh, next, we have Walter Jones, the original Black Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I uh, signed this one. It It is the uh, Pop 672 without the helmet. Uh, $85. Okay, and here's a pop. I'm just not going to sell to you guys. I'm sorry. Do you guys know the Croft brothers? Sid and Marty Croft, who, who they, they've done everything, but they did Sigmund the Sea Monster, and that was a show I watched as a kid, and they both signed this pop. Uh, so I'm not even going to sell you this one. I'm sorry. This one I'm keeping. Okay. These ones I'll sell. Okay, so Sid and Marty did a signing at Funko Hollywood. Uh, this was... Actually, the last signing they did at Funko Hollywood, uh, they made an exclusive pop just for the signing. Uh, Sid and Marty got their star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So they made these very, very exclusive Hollywood Walk of Fame pops. Uh, what happened was, if you bought the pop, you're one of the first 50 people, uh, you could get a wristband, wait around, and then get them signed. Now, the thing was, uh, there were way too many people, uh, and, and yeah, it, it was almost impossible to get it. Uh, there were people trying to camp out for a while on Hollywood Boulevard. Uh, they got mugged. Uh, <laughs> we, don't, we don't hear from them again. Uh, and then the, I, I was there. I came back the next morning, and already there were too many people there. Yeah, yeah, Danny, if you're watching, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Danny was the one who got me into the signing, so thanks to him, I have two sets of these pops, which, honestly, maybe I should just keep them, but you know what? I need the money. The store is basically closed, so <laughs> let's sell them. Uh, so you, you'll see they're all signed differently. Um, so here we got a Sid and Marty signed uh, sleaze stack uh, from... Uh, now, it's signed on the top. Now, that's the way they were signing them. Now, a lot of people don't like it signed on the top because, you know what, you want to display it like that, and where's the signature? So here you go. You got the same sleeve stack pop, but they both signed it on the window. So, you know, your preference, signed on the top or signed on the window? <laughs> so me, personally, I just like it signed on the window. So most people, you know, agree with me. They like it signed on the window, so... Here you go. You can get this one signed on the top for $150, or you can get signed on the window for $200. And if you don't buy it, that's fine. I, I'm going to keep it. Um, my personal favorite um, next to Sigmund over here is HR Puffin stuff. 
Um, to me, that's just just pure gold. I mean, I love I love the character. Uh, so you can get this one signed on the roof there for 150, and they came in these really hard pop stacks, so there is no damaging them after that. They're they're stuck in there, not stuck, but you know they're they're protected. This one I'm not even gonna sell you because that that one I'm gonna keep. <laughs> uh, but if you want another one that's signed in an interesting way, here Sid and Marty signed this one. Uh, it's also, this one's actually a Toy Tokyo exclusive uh, for 2019 in New York. Um, this one is signed on the top. Uh, looks like by Marty and then signed here on the window uh, by Sid. You know, interesting, 95 bucks. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving along. Here, now we got a couple pops from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And they're not signed by the actors. I'm just going to say that right away. Care about the actors? No. Uh, they're signed by the art department, which is pretty cool. This was a signing that was at Gallery Nucleus, right across from Toyzilla. Uh, so we ran over there, and we got those signed. Um, this one's got more autographs. Signed one, two, three times, I guess. Yeah. This one's signed twice. Uh, I guess we're selling them for $80, because I see $80 price tag. Okay, moving on. The Tick! Okay, I love the Tick. I really love the Tick. Um, so this one is signed by the actors who play the Tick. Uh, Peter, who... Wow, that's a tough name. I don't want to say that wrong. Okay, it's signed by the actor who plays the Tick. And let me flip it around. It's also signed and sketched on... By Griffith Newman, who plays Arthur. And that's extremely rare. Now, this was signed over at WonderCon. Guess what? WonderCon just got canceled <laughs> for 2020. So, no more autographs um, from WonderCon this year. Uh, so, this was last year's WonderCon, $125. And again, eh, you don't want it. I'm going to keep it. It's okay. Um, most people don't sell signed pops because they want to keep them themselves. I don't blame them. Um, okay, so this one's pretty cool if you like Game of Thrones. Uh, we got the actor Isaac Hempstead Wright, who is Bran Stark, signed this one. And, okay, this is what makes it really cool. Flip it around. Three-Eyed Raven. Yeah. Now this one... That's what you want to see, Three-Eyed Raven. You want to see it inscribed like that. Uh, and this one is, in my opinion, even better because, uh, okay, so Mary Gibbs, who was Boo way back, that first Monsters, Inc. movie, uh, she did a really great job signing this one with a little sketch. And that this one's pretty rare. So this is actually the first time she ever signed a pop. We got it. Pretty awesome. Okay, $85. Okay, this one is a specially series Superman, and it's signed by Neil Adams. So, Neil's is the artist who worked on Superman, so he signed this pop. Okay, and I, yeah, I don't, oh, yeah, it's $75. Okay. All right, and here we go. We got Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go, signed by the voice actor. That one is $60. And, wow, we got through a lot, actually. Okay, but we still have more. <laughs> okay, now this is something that we can't sell. And I'm sure you guys have this problem. This one's inscribed to Toyzilla. Uh, and we would never, ever sell this one because it's got our name on it. And that's just tacky. Uh, this was signed by the amazingly talented Carla who is actually the, the uh, American actor who plays Rita Repulsa from Power Rangers. Um, as you know, uh, the original actress from Japan uh, is no longer with us, so this is really the, the best thing you can get uh, in terms of autographs uh, if you love Rita Repulsa. And guess what? We're not going to sell you this one, but we will tell you this. We're going to try to do a signing with Carla really soon because... You know, we love her, and we want to get her back in the store. She's been here um, a couple times, but, you know, we can never have too much of Carla. So, uh, there you go. Okay. 
Now, moving over here, we got a Street Fighter Chung Lee. This is signed uh, at E3. Guess what? E3 just got canceled. So, <laughs> no more E3. Maybe ever. I hope not. But this was signed to the last E3, 2019. Uh, we got uh, Yoshi, who is... He's the one who always comes out and represents Capcom at all these events. He's the producer of Street Fighter. He signed this Chung Lee pop in gold. Means it's worth a million dollars. Well... Okay, we'll sell it for, I guess, like 75 Um, Okay, moving down. Oh, I should put these two together. Okay, we got two Masters of the Universe Funkos signed by the same guy. Guess who this is? He's the one who created He-Man. At least on the Netflix show, The Toys That Made Us, he said he named He-Man. Um, he is Roger Sweet. And really, really nice man. I got to meet him at PowerCon and get these items signed by him. Uh, this one's Stratos, and he signed it right there. Both of these are signed in uh, gold Sharpie. Uh, Roger Sweet, who's a really sweet man. Uh, he came up with pretty much everything for Masters of the Universe when it first, first started. He said, we need to have, you know, um, well, I came up with the name He-Man, first of all. Uh, as a character name, uh, came up with basically all the categories of different types of characters that they were going to have on the show. Um, so ha he had a lot to do with it. I I'm not saying he's the sole creator of He-Man, but uh, he is definitely one of the creators. Okay, and yep, believe it, Naruto. Very, very talented um, U.S. voice actress who does the voice of Naruto signed that one. And I just got word this pop is most likely vaulted now. <laughs> so, two reasons to buy this one. Uh, Naruto number 71 pop uh, signed by the voice actress. Uh, this one is uh, $85. Uh, and I skipped a couple here. It's not fair. Okay. Oh, yeah. We have a, we have a Pokemon pop signed. <laughs> Now, this was almost, almost going to be a Toy ex Zilla exclusive signed pop. Uh, but sadly, the, the actress didn't make it inside the Toy Zilla store. She signed this at Superhero Summerfest, uh, just across the street from Toy Zilla, uh, which we, we organized, but still, it's not enough to put the Toy Zilla sticker on there. So, uh, it's still a cool signed pop for $85 anyway. Um, okay, there we go. We got, if you guys are fans of The Flash, we got the, the actor who plays uh, Reverse Flash. He signed that one. Um, yeah, I guess also 85. Uh, this one is signed by the producer of Digimon from Japan at Anime Expo 2019. <clears throat> then we've got, uh, this is a really cool one. It's double signed. Yeah. Uh, Tom... I just got the sign that went, went over time. I'm going to try to wrap this up really quickly. Okay. Uh, suffice it to say, there's a lot more pops that are signed here at Toyzilla. <clears throat> this is all I had time and voice for because I'm losing my voice. Uh, okay, but uh, let's just finish this last one. Okay, so Tom Holland is the one who actually created Chucky. He's the one who came up with the design and the idea of doing the, uh, uh, the doll. Um... And then we've got the one of the actresses from Child's Play 2. Now, I haven't seen Child's Play 2. I've only seen Child's Play 1. <laughs> uh, so I don't, even, I don't even know uh, more to tell you than that. But I'm the one who got both these autographs. So there you go. Uh, let's just say that pop is worth $125 because it's double signed. Super rare. Okay, and I didn't get to cover a whole lot more pops that we have in the store. So, hey, we're going to save this for next Friday, Funko Friday, uh, and just leave you with that. This.
one day we will be able to reopen this, this amazing store and have you guys actually come in here uh, and see all the cool things inside. Till then, we're going to keep doing these videos from our uh, underground bunker and hope that uh, one day you guys can come in here. So, till then, have fun. It's Friday, TGIF. Uh, buy some Funko Pops because, uh, you know, heck, <laughs> we need the money. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, some of these guys I wouldn't even be selling. So, anyway, but uh, have, have a lot of fun and we'll have a great weekend. Be safe.